Guys, I just... I just... I can't even! <laughs> past the discussion on how frequently I have cried in the past three days and um, just hold out hope that, that it, this won't be another occasion where I do such a thing. I actually watched Christina's video and kind of went through that first emotional pang while sitting in the library in one of those tiny little rooms. I don't know if other libraries have them, but we have these tiny little rooms that you can stretch out your arms and touch both, both walls and it's it's just a really intense experience being in there and sobbing to yourself. But regardless, I'm gonna I'm gonna reflect on my last three years here on Five Awesome Girls. I was 15 when I started this channel, so um, I'm the baby of the channel, hence Baby Spice. I have the immense pleasure of seeing a good amount of my adolescence on the internet. I started making videos here when I was 15, but I started making videos elsewhere when I was 14, so pretty much a good part of my teenage years are on online. <laughs> Which is really surreal, but at the same time really cool because, I mean, how many people do ever remember their teenage years once they hit a certain age? I'm, I'm gonna have visual representation of every haircut, every hair dye, everything. So yes, I was 15 years old. I had just, like, the day before my first video, I'd cut it to look like Keira Knightley in Atonement, which, I mean, good intentions. I don't, I don't think, looking back, it was a very good idea, but I really liked it at the time, so, you know, whatever. I was still blonde back then, too, by the way. A lot of people don't know that this is, this is fake. I know it looks kind of decent on me. It looks kind of natural, but it's not. This, this color probably isn't too natural for anyone. I had a lot of ups and downs while being on this channel. Um, a lot of them. Oh, it's so crazy. So much time has passed. I feel like, I feel like it was just recently that we were all together for New Year's 2008, 2009. That was, that was so good. I want that to happen. Hopefully that will happen one day. I've said a lot of things in the past in videos that people have come back and been like, you said this once and now you say this. And I think that needs to be noted that I was 15 and 16 and people change and op opinions change. That's a point in your life where you don't really know too much about anything. So I'd, I'd like to point that out, that uh, I said a lot of things I regret, such as um, my admiration for Twilight at the time. You know, people grow, people learn. I did. I left the continent for the first time while being on this channel. I went to London 2008, that was a lot of fun. And I stayed with one of my very first YouTube friends, Rosanna. I celebrated my 16th, 17th, and 18th birthdays on this channel, and there are some wonderful birthday collabs, and those all, those make me really happy whenever I'm feeling down. I just go watch those, and you guys are rapping to me, or saying sweet things. It's a real, it's a real confidence boost, and it's just good to see you guys. I met so many people because of my associations with this channel and everything. Like, I would not have the opportunity to have met these people that inspire me so much, like the Green Brothers, for instance. I'm still in awe that that they um, supported us so much in our in our first few months and that they really encouraged the channel and that to this day we're all really good friends with the, the Green Brothers, John and Hank. And it's just, it's really, really awesome. John's one of my favorite authors and Hank is an amazing scientist and songwriter. We're really lucky to have had each other through all of these last three years. I know we've gone through a lot of hard times, breakups and school problems and family problems and we've always had each other and I know that I can always go to you guys with anything and that is incredible. That's a bond that um, I definitely needed. Something that a lot of people have been challenging us on and that I'd like to address is that we're not giving away our channel. A lot of people have suggested like auditions for the next Five Awesome Girls and everything and that, that bothers me for a few reasons and I know it bothers the other girls too. This is our baby. This is the first Five Awesome channel. It was something that Christina just had an idea for and then invited us to join. It was just gonna be a fun thing and it turned into this massive thing and we're so proud of it and like it blows our minds that we've had the the impact that we've had on so many of you and we're not just gonna give that away. As Christina said, there will be more videos here. I mean, they won't be frequent and we can't even tell you when or why there will be videos here, but there will be eventually. And I think you guys should all agree with me that people should have to work to get viewers like you. You guys are pretty awesome. I try to be really good at recommending YouTubers that you might not come across. I Twitter about them, or I blog about them, or I post a video about them. I just posted my leg retain video recently. I try and do a good job of sharing people who I think are awesome, but I'm not gonna give them my channel. That doesn't make sense. That's like doing someone's homework instead of helping them with it. You have to give them a boost. You can't just give them 40,000 fans, so. Yeah, that's just all I have to say on that, I guess. This is our baby, we're not giving it away. You can stop suggesting it. I know you mean well, but it's our child. We've gotten together and, and birthed a 
the channel. I'm gonna stop now before I make everyone uncomfortable. Speaking of birthing, remember that time we were going to produce children with the Five Awesome Gays? Yeah, I think that should still happen. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. I know this wasn't nearly as emotional as the as Lauren and Christine's videos have been. A lot of you may know I posted a vlog um, that I felt compelled to write upon the announcement of Five Awesome Girls ending and it's to Esther and I'll put a link down here if you're interested. Um, so I kind of let a lot of emotions regarding the situation out in that letter and when I was writing it I honestly was writing it and just crying and talking to Lauren and it was it's kind of a mess but uh, I feel a lot better now and I'm, I'm excited for the future. Also a lot of people are saying they're not ready for Five Awesome Girls and you don't have to be ready quite yet, you got a month. Just keep your cool like I am. Yeah. I'm gonna go. Haley, I love you a lot, and I will see you tomorrow.